quite a number of you have asked me to um, create style guide and this was requested by someone on whatsapp so i'm going to be showing you in i'm going to be breaking it down like when i'm supposed to explain something to a five-year-old <laughs> all right so i'm going to break it down in that manner so you get to understand so without any further ado let's get into this all right first thing you want to do is get out your colors so i'm just going to create random colors all i need to do is just show you how to do it three times and i'm sure you'll be able to get it all right, so we have these three shapes. I'm going to just draw circles. You could draw any shape to pick your colors. So select this, and for this, I would choose this purple. All right, select the other two, and I'll choose purple with the eyedropper too. I'll pick the second one, and just ensure you're using actual colors. So I'm just picking random colors. And then this one, I'm going to go for yellow. I think yellow works hand in hand with these colors right something around here yeah so that's fine so we have three colors and if you come up here you're going to see their codes on the property channel for selected colors all right all you need to do to turn this into a style guide so that you can do something i'm going to show you after um, which would save you tons of time while you do your work all right so i'm going to select one of it and to create a style guide is very easy all i need to do now is go to the layer section here um, for fill rather in the property channel fill you would see those four dots and if you hover on them the name or the label is style all right so i'm going to click on that and then i'm going you're not going to see this all right these are colors in the library of one of my students all right so with this i'm going to click on the plus sign in this um tab that is open all right so click on that over on it you're going to see create style so click on it and what you're going to tell this is basically very simple i'm going to show you how you can do this in two ways you can create a style and then you can create a style collection so let's create a style first so to create a style all i need to do is very simple name what would this color be used for so let's say this color will be used for cta i'm going to type in cta all right so i always remember that this color is for cta and anybody that would be collaborating with on this project or in this same file would know that this particular color is for cta so use it and maintain consistency across the design all right so that is what it is and in description you can decide to type anything i don't really type much because i i have to like go on stand-up meetings and explain this so you could put up a description i could say use for buttons all right so that's it and um you can now create uh click on create style now that changes now if i select all three of them you're going to see that one of the titles is off the color code so you can see just for two and it's the same process so click it from here you can just click on any one click on the plus sign and you can type i'll just type blue all right and i'm going to click on create style now because i'm doing it from this side i don't have more options but if i do it separately i'm going to have more options like the description all right but from this part you're not going to have those descriptions so whichever one works for you you can use it so yellow all right and create style now we have all three of these styles. now this is what happens when you use it before we go to the collection so i'm just going to bring out um, a mini frame it's going to be white and then i'm going to type style guide right i've done that and i'm just going to increase the size to 128 all right it's in black at the moment how do you apply a style guide to this color very simple i'm just going to make this very bold like black all right so how do you apply a style guide you just click on it go to that same place where you create a style guide and click on it and you're going to find you're going to find um the style guide that was the text <laughs> sorry so click here and you're going to see all the color that you've created so i can pick any one let's say i choose blue um 
and we have it all right now i'm going to duplicate this multiple times let's say i duplicate it four times just use this adjustment and you know what i'm going to make the background a bit dim uh, something like yeah cool all right so this is the colors now i'm not going to touch this text and this is what happens now i'm going to come here in fact i'm going to you don't we don't need all of this again so just get rid of it all right so to do this just click out and you're going to see all the color style here now this adjustment or this icon here is for you to adjust the colors so this is blue i'll go to blue and i'm going to type another color now let's say we wanted to change it to white i'm going to type fff into six places and press enter Ta -da! and that's what happens you can change multiple components at the same time with just one action and that's what happens all right so i can i can do other things to it and it would adjust same way all right um let's do black have a very bad constraint you're going to see so it changes with whatever actions you make all right that's it now we have all of these color styles here and we want to create a collection of style guide and so how are we going to do that very easy you need to give it a primary um name a primary name is more like a parent that would carry children do you understand so you need to give the mother a name and that mother is going every child you create would carry the name of that mother so if your mother's name is gloria like my mom you would want to attach a slash to your name to always notify people that you are mama or picking or your mother what do they say in school so you're going to say um uh, gloria picking or something like that all right but you would always attach that name to that parent that you'll be creating so in this case we have three children and we don't have a parent all right the parent is invisible it's not in this case so all you have to do is basically come up to settings and there are two ways you can actually do this you don't have to do this for all of the colors you've created you can just move them into that layer does that make sense all right so that's what you're going to do so in the cta we'll just take the cursor to the first um side uh, the first behind the c and we're going to just type um mother all right you can call it anything in fact let me not confuse you i'm going to type primary so let's say these are the primary colors and then to make this effective you need to press slash on your keyboard so ensure you're pressing your you press slash all right i'm not saying type slash i say primary then slash the symbol then slash the child's name now the parent's name in this case is what primary you got it correct clap hand for yourself <laughs> all right so you got that we press enter and you're going to see something happens so this color will now be invisible if i close out uh, if i close it out and then if i open that you can see the color there now that is a parent now this would come in handy when you're working with so many colors because many people think you only work with a few colors when it comes to product design no you're going to be working with a lot of colors so it's going to cut across um your gray scale it's going to cut across some categories your primary your secondary your ascent colors you'd have so many colors you have a lot colors all right so you would want to categorize them put them in collections so that you won't have to look for certain colors you just have to scroll to a lot and choose from a lot go to primary and choose from primary do you understand it's just like going from room to room all right if the rooms if you go to a a, a room in let's say in a hostel for the first time and they say oh, hey go call me john and you don't know who john is and you're going through the the, the pathway is like a a, a walkway uh, or a wrong way and there are only 10 rooms there in order for you to know who is john without having to ask anybody you can just see the labels on the door and that would give you more clarifications that this is john's room and yeah call john all right so all you need to do for the other colors that are in a particular 
um, category is to move them so I'll just select this if there are 100 of them I will just select the first one and go to the last one hold shift on the keyboard and choose that last one and that's all you have to do it's that simple and then just drag it into that collection and now if I close this collection you can see what happens there it's a way all right we can also drag it out maybe i drag the particular one let's say the yellow and it's not supposed to be part of them so i'm just going to drag it out and that is it and now with the yellow i can click on the edit and put it into the a lot because yellow red green you know they are part of like a lot colors all right so i just put it a lot i'm going to type in a lot slash yellow press enter and now we have two collections we have a lot and we have primary so that is how you can keep filling it up with colors and I think I like these two colors they kind of resonate I may use them for my next project so watch out for that we're done with these guys and I hope this has been insightful to you as it has to me and would always be I'm gonna see you very soon bye bye